Hello friends, this is Amit Ranjan and you are watching your favorite channel Java Mitra. Welcome back to the video lessons of Jade Table series. This is the seventh episode. Here I will talk about how to manipulate rows in a existing table. For this purpose, I need some label, text field, and button. So let us create those components. I have already my data header on my screen with initial settings for JFA. So first of all, we will create some component object to add on our JFrame. So let's go. And then JTEX field. And then J button. And just create a method for initialization of these components. Just add this panel in the south of our content pan. And let us call this init component method in the constructor. create a default table model object by passing data and header now create a table object and then add in the central region of frame using this problem let us see the comparison so everything is okay the comparison is done properly let us check the program's output we have our table our label text field and three buttons to add modify and delete rows in this table uh, let us add a list now for add button. Now use the default now use the default table model to add row by getting the string values from text field and creating a string array here let us check by comparison and on the program now we have our table here let us add some data
and you will see that here we have successfully added our row. Let us try one more. Here we have a new rows added. Here we have successfully added our new data as a row in existing table. Now let us try to uh, delete a particular row from this table. Since index start from zero, so I have uh, reduced the value of uh, text field by minus one. Now we have we should know about number of row. Now if index is less than zero or index is greater than or equal to row count, then I will do nothing because definitely there is no data in table and if the row count is greater than zero and index is less than equal to row count then I will call this remove row method and pass the index to remove a particular row from the table so let us go to compile and check what is the result of this program Now let us try to uh, remove some row from this table. First of all, I am giving the num row number 0 to remove. And there is no error because we have already uh, added a case that if it is 0, then it will not do anything. And if I will add a num uh, index higher than the row count, like 6 even it will not work but if we will try to remove a row from index 5 then it will remove this one because the index of this row is 4 it's reduced the number by 1 so removing will now let us try to remove the first row and in this way I can delete all the rows I can add multiple rows I can delete rows effectively let us add an event handler so that if user selects some row we will fetch that data and set into the corresponding text field for that we have I have already discussed in an earlier video that how to uh, get data from a table so first of all we need a list selection model object now we can add a event handler on this LSM and it has a method that we have to implement so now we have to get the data from table and set into the corresponding text field. So first of all we need the row index. Now set the corresponding data into text field. compile and execute the program so we see that uh, the table is not available it is say it says that cannot find symbol so we have to make this table as a uh, instance member to compile I guess there is some spelling mistake 
in value changed method. We need to convert the get value at because it returns uh, object type. Let us recompile the comparison done. So let us uh, run the program. Now uh, we have a table. We can add more data. By pressing add button, we can delete any data like one. And now, suppose I select this one row, so the data of this row comes here. And now I can do some modification, and by pressing modify, I want to set all this data once again in the same row. So let us see how can we do this. Now let us add a listener, uh, add some statement to modify our data in JTable. So for this, we first of all need the row index. Now we will data, modify data from text field and set into the table. So let us check whether we can modify our table uh, from text field. The comparison is done. So let's test the program. Here I select this row and I, I want to change Tech to abduct and do modify and we see here that is the data is changed in JTable. Let us do the one more with this last one row instead of MBBS I change it to LLP and do modify button and we have changed our data in JTable. Thank you.